Hey there, and welcome back to the Zoom Playground. This is your ultimate destination for mastering all things Zoom. And I'm your host, Betsy Sabatini. And if you're joining us from our previous video about live streaming from Zoom, you are in for a treat. Today, we're taking it up a notch and we're delving into the world of recording to Zoom while you're live streaming. So if you're ready to elevate your virtual meeting and harness the power of recorded content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Let's get started. All right. So now from inside a Zoom meeting, when you have a live streaming going on, it's going to look something like this. So let's see, let me take you on a little field trip into our membership Facebook group. I run a membership and you'll find information about that in the description. It's called the Virtual Business Collective. And I have a Facebook group for members only on Facebook. So I'm going to live stream now from this Zoom meeting and using the more button, as you can see here, go live to Facebook. And I'm going to give a different title. So if you wanted to change the title of your Zoom meeting, you would do that here. You can also, as I explained in the video on live streaming, which you'll find on our channel, I'm going to give it the destination. So I'm going to tell it where I want to live stream to. And then I get to pick the group that I want to live stream to. And there it is, Virtual Business Collective members only. And then when you, you say go live, you wait pretty much just until the count of five. And then it says right up there at the top of the meeting, this meeting is being live streamed. And then all you do is you click OK. And so now we come back here. Now, for those of you watching inside our members only group, this is a test I'm running right now. We are recording inside the Zoom meeting so that we can put this recording on YouTube. For those of you who want to know what you see inside the Zoom meeting, well, you can see that up at the top left corner, there are some indications up there. First of all, it tells me that I am recording inside here. And I'm gonna take you back for a moment. So if you're watching along, we're gonna just pause this a moment so that I can show you what happens next. What you're gonna see here in the post toolbar, there is a button right in the middle. Right now it says pause or stop because recording is already in progress. If I pause it, now it says stopped, but in a sense, the recording that I had in progress is really paused. And then I can start it again with the play button. And so at this point, the recording that I'm making here inside this live stream, it's live streaming into the Facebook group or whatever destination you chose. And it's also recording to my Zoom account. And so if you indicate cloud, it's gonna to go to your Zoom account on the Zoom portal. If you indicate record locally, it's going to go to the computer that you're using right now. And then those recordings are going to be located in your Zoom folder, which is inside your documents folder on your local computer. Then in the upper right corner, you see some other indications. One of them says, in this case, it says Facebook. And so when it's time to stop the live streaming, I can do that. So I can stop and start the recording to Zoom separately from stopping the live streaming to Facebook, you can see right here. I'm not gonna do that at this time, but that's how you would do it. Now, in this case, on the recording button, I'm going to use the stop button, which is the little square. And then it gives me this prompt. Are you sure you want to stop the recording to the cloud? And when I say yes, now at this point, the feed that's coming through is only coming through into the live stream because I do not have any recording at this time happening inside Zoom. And so that's what the recording button looks like before you've started. So when you click there, you get those choices, recording to the cloud or recording locally. So I like recording to the cloud because it gives me a number of different formats. I can use a speaker view which is just me talking to the camera like this right now. I can use a shared screen, which is just the screen that I'm talking about and my voiceover behind it. Or I can use the typical gallery where you see everybody who's in attendance if you want that as well. And this is how you individually control recording to Zoom inside a live streaming meeting. It's fabulous and I really advise you to try it out yourself. So now for those watching in, actually, 
this really is a live stream. So I'm going to see if there's any questions or comments, which is really nice about live streaming. You can actually have another device, which I have right here, a mobile device with the Facebook group turned on with my volume all the way down. And I can be monitoring any questions that are coming up in the live stream. And then I can do my recording here. And then the recording from the live stream sits as a video inside that social media platform. And so it's there for repurposing or replaying. All right. So everyone, if you want to now stop the live stream inside and keep going in your Zoom meeting, you click where it says Facebook because we're live streaming to Facebook right now. And then you click stop. So everybody inside the Facebook group, we'll see you in a little bit. We have our regular weekly session inside the membership. So I'll see you then. Everybody else on YouTube, stay tuned. And I'll tell you a little bit more about this before we finish up. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the world of recording your live stream meetings. I hope you found this episode informative. Don't forget to join our growing community by subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications. That way you'll never miss out on our latest updates and releases. And if you want to connect with me personally, you can find me on social media. Let's continue the conversation over there. Click the link in the description and you'll see where you can send me a message. If you are hungry for more Zoom tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to check out our other videos here on the Zoom Playground. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep on Zooming. This is Betsy Sabatini, and I'll see you next time on the Zoom Playground. Thanks, everybody.